Hi guys, it's Megan Daisy and uh, welcome if you're new to my channel. Mostly I do uh, perfume related videos in this channel such as hauls, perf collections, and a lot, uh, some other stuff. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'm sorry if I'm not posting for a while right now for a, because of some personal reasons. But today, uh, I'm going to show you and probably you already know what uh, I'm going to add in my collection and please bear with me guys because these are new to me uh, some of the scents I already um, tested and the rest are uh, blind bought uh, also because uh, these are very new scents in my that I'm going to add in my collection because before I used to wear uh, Victoria's Secret body mist but then I transitioned to perfumes and then my perfume collection blows up so I stopped wearing body mist I give it uh, to my family members and then I feel like I need to wear my perfumes more so I stopped wearing and buying a fragrance mist but because of YouTube uh, I was so influenced by Jamie Bullard, Ikinsenia and there's another youtuber i forgot her name um but uh, thanks to them um yeah i bought uh, this new scent and yeah i want to try some of this and all the scents are in 236 or 8 fluid ounce um full size bottles so the first time that i have um is this one this is dahlia and most of the scents are in the mainstream most most of them are very hyped in the uh, fragrance community that's why i'm curious to try them as well and yeah the first one that i have got is this one is dahlia and the notes are velvet dahlia petals crisp pear praline musk whip and whip tonka bean and uh I got all the scents for a week now and so yeah most of them I wear a couple of times and the rest are like once or twice just to see and just to um, smell them and uh, yeah the reason why I got this is because um, because of Je uh, Jessie Minjola she is uh, one of the celebrities here in the Philippines and she mentioned uh, this scent in her collection and she met and she said that she likes this scent and I was so curious and this was once talked about in the uh, YouTube community so I got myself a decant and then I ended up buying the full size uh, bottle and also another youtuber mentioned that this scent is a dupe of uh, or similar to Carolina Herrera's good girl I have over there a uh, mini bottle and yeah uh, I find them quite similar but not uh, I find them very similar but of course this one is a very toned down version of it um, this is more wearable compared to the Carolina Herrera uh, Carolina Herrera good girl is a very strong and long lasting scent but this one is a more toned down version and i feel like you can wear this all year round especially if you're living in a tropical country this is a perfect scent this is sweet white floral um, uh, musky uh, scent and yeah this is dahlia and oops next one that i'm going to show you is this one this is pure wonder and um i like the packaging also most of the um bottles are like very uh nice it is in very nice packaging this one is a very nice clean clear uh bottle but i like this like parang snowflakes something like that but uh i like this scent the first time i wear this scent it's like hindi ko siya na appreciate maybe because i don't know why <laughs> I really don't know why but I wear this a couple of times and then it reminds me of Alien um, the, uh, the the original uh, 
it reminds me of alien and the, the notes are ice rose uh, ice rose star jasmine a warm white amber um this scent is um white floral sweet uh type of scent and the reason why i was reminded of alien because maybe because of the jasmine in the opening not so but as it dries down it slowly reminds me of um uh, alien i like alien at first i didn't like it but slowly it grows on me so the same uh with this scent uh this is a perfect everyday scent that i could wear here in the philippines and also alien is expensive so it's a this one is a good alternative and uh maybe you can wear the perfume and then layer it i haven't tried layering them together but i it probably um would work so yeah and uh alien is not that it's not a perfume that i could wear uh all year round here in the philippines especially during the hot season because it will choke the people around me so pure wonder is uh, a good alternative for that so uh, if you're looking for something uh, similar to alien then i could uh, recommend a pure wonder then the next one is this one this is magnolia charms i don't know why i get this maybe because i heard somebody mentioned that this is a similar scent to uh vulgari omnia amethyst and the scent is dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia and fresh cedar uh i have a full i have a uh, perfume bottle i have a i have the um bulgari amethyst in my collection and i test them side by side and i don't get the similarity of the scent um probably the powdery scent but the overall scent is uh, no i don't think they are similar but this one is a good um white uh floral type of scent this is a perfect scent that you will wear in the office um you know just for your day-to-day -day, uh life and you can wear this to the gym this is a clean um fresh type of scent so the next one is um this one this is forever red and i got this also because of the hype and everybody mentioned about this scent and um at first i didn't uh appreciate the scent maybe because uh i wore it on the wrong season and i feel like this is uh, perfect for um a, a colder type of set up a place or a season or so this is a perfect night scent for up uh, this is a perfect scent for like you're going on a date because this is uh, seductive and sexy and the scent is a uh, uh, peary pomegranate red pe red peony rich vanilla rum and oak wood and um this is yeah this type of scent is like very sexy seductive a little bit mysterious yet very um um what do you call this uh, eye-catching um or very uh what do you call this compliment compliment getter type of scent i wear this a couple of times and my husband um uh, likes me i mean likes the scent on me so yeah he gives me compliments and and yeah if you're looking for a scent for your date especially this coming um february 14 then this is a nice uh scent as well and also this one has this perfume scent so it's not the type the cheapy kind of scent like the irregular uh baby colognes that you can bought in the supermarket now this is not that um this one is more um more sophisticated more a uh, very it has this perfumey type of yeah as i mentioned it's very perfumey so it's not like um, it's not like a cheap kind of body mist anyways you know what i mean the next one is this one this is marshmallow pumpkin latte and uh the packaging is so nice but i like the other packaging even more i'm not sure which um 
year it was launched and I don't know which this one launch this was launched but I like the other one better I feel like it's more uh, cuter and more like eye appealing to me but anyways um, I was so surprised that this scent was very very sweet and uh, I was also surprised because uh, before I used to like clean um, fresh type of scent but um, slowly my nose palette is changing that's why I'm leaning towards more sweet type of scent but not to the gourmand uh, level yet and this is a gourmand type of scent this one is very um, sweet immediately it reminds me of um, Aqualina's Pink Sugar yeah it's very very uh, sweet and this is something that I cannot wear during hot uh, weather here in the Philippines because sweet gourmand type of scent turns sour on my skin so I don't know if I'm going to keep this or I'm going to give it to someone but this is not something that I will reach more often so this is a very sweet yummy um, creamy musky um, types of scent so if you like that kind of scent then um, you need to try those so the next one is this one this is you're the one yeah and the reason why I also got this is because this is one of the hype scent this is always included in their top 10 top 20 um, must-haves uh, in your collection this is um, many talked about this uh, many talked about this scent so I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background it's my dog someone's in the in the door someone's on the door so oh, yeah I don't know um, so yeah um, this scent is very nice and sexy as well I uh, so some similarities uh, with a forever red the only difference is this uh, forever red is more potent than this one and the scent also reminds me of uh, Mon Paris uh, YSL Mon Paris and um, Juicy Couture pretty in purple I see some similarities and I wear them side by side so yeah uh, it's quite similar and YSL Mon Perry is quite ex an expensive perfume so if you're looking for alternative and more toned down version perfect for everyday wear then this is what I can uh, recommend you and yeah at first I don't love this scent but it's, it's slowly it's, it's growing on me so the scent are white birch I mean the notes are white birch, velvet rose and a drop of strawberry nectar maybe because of the strawberry um i don't like strawberry scent i like it as a fruit itself or in the cake but i don't know why for some reason as a fragrance uh, note i don't enjoy it um i have a few other perfumes that has uh cherry and strawberry i don't reach for them but yeah the good thing about this scent is that the the fruity notes or the strawberry notes is not as strong or as potent as the perfume one so that's why i feel like i can tolerate those uh berry scents in this one so yeah this is a nice perfect date as well so the next one is um a thousand wishes and this scent is one of my least favorite in the collection and i need to wear this more because this is one of the most loved um scent as well but um, the scent is Pink Prosecco Sparkling Quench, Crystal Peonies, uh, Gilded Amber, uh, and Amaretto Cream. And um, I don't know why for some reason when I spray this, it, it's like a sparkling fruit soda. Something something like that. Um, but uh, maybe I don't enjoy this scent because I don't drink. Maybe that the alcohol content in this one, the uh, the liquor in here, uh, don't appeal to me. But I really love the dry down. The good thing about it is that the initial notes or the opening notes doesn't uh, stay that much. 
and um, the, the the opening notes doesn't stay that much that's why um, I can tolerate but as much as possible I need to pass the first initial spray uh, for me to love this scent um, this is not one of my easy reach for now but uh, I need to wear this more often and see if my feelings toward this scent will uh, change and last but not the least is this one and this is in the stars and I really like the packaging it's quite similar to a thousand wishes those glittery thing it's like small stars in the heavens above yeah very very um, dreamy and yeah. I really like this scent as you can see uh, and I'm almost I'm, I'm here already for a one week use and uh, I bought a decant of this one and I fell in love with this scent that's why I get the full size bottle and um, the reason why I also got this is because many said that this one smells like uh, BR540 and Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande's cloud and yeah I saw the similarity I have a uh, cloud so um, I really love this more than the cloud because cloud is more creamy and coconutty scent uh, this one is a toned down version of it that's why I, I enjoy this more and also I saw Jamie Bullard uh, do a layering combo so she, she mentioned that she layered this with a running grand Days cloud I haven't tried it but maybe one day um, one of these days I mean I'm going to try it um, and uh, see if it will works on my uh, it will works on me but anyways this is uh, one of the must-haves and most loved in the YouTube community a fragrance community and so I'm one of them right now and yeah see and I really like the packaging see how how far I've gone <laughs> but um yeah these are all the scents that I have added in my collection and as you can see most of the scents are leaning to more sweet type of scent and I feel like most of the scent that I pick is not for like younger crowds like the teens one I'm not sure if they're going to enjoy this but I feel like this is more towards the grown-up ones like more, more these are the scents that I feel like more mature women wear not not mature mature I mean like 20 up something like that so yeah these are all new to me so please bear with me and if you have this in your collection please let me know your thoughts which one do you like and how do you feel about the scents and yeah this i'm going to wear this um uh, more and uh, give you an update um of what uh the scents um oh, what i feel about the scents and uh, which one will go or which one will stay in my collection so i hope you like this video don't forget to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel and see you again next time bye everyone